case scenario. Have it be in your kitchen. <laughs> <laughs>Hi guys, what's up? So, it's been quite an eventful morning. So, I have this one helping me move, along with two movers. Um, we got all my junk in here. I'll do an official tour when everything's set up, but this is the before. I'm gonna fix some stuff in the kitchen. Bedroom. And a closet. And bathroom. This is where vlogs will be taking place now. I'm very excited. I'm gonna clean and start unpacking stuff and setting stuff up where it should go. So yeah, let's do that time lapse. So my question is, why would they sell a box knife in a package that you need like a box knife to open? Like what am I supposed to, what do you want me to do? I'm just fixing this real quick for you. There's an electrical wiring problem down here. No, you liar. <laughs> I have no idea. I think physics wants an undergrad. Okay. Hello. Just a little update. We've been working like crazy. Still looks really messy, but Arkady's been working on this and it looks so good. Okay, so I tried to change the white balance, but he's been working on this to make the floor look like we have fake marble here. Brian, maybe you should quit med school. Maybe, right? Yeah, open a business. I'm down. Arkady's <laughs> it. No experience necessary. None whatsoever. We learn as we go. Something's bound to happen. Worst case scenario. Have it be in your kitchen. <laughs> Arcadi's peeling the stick. You want to change your floors. Are you having trouble with peeling and sticking? Look no further. Not responsible for dissatisfaction with work. Arcadi's peeling the stick is here for a good time, not for a long time. <laughs> Um, no one's gonna know. Everyone's gonna know. 
All right, everyone, brief break from today's video. I wanted to thank Care Of for collaborating with me on this video. If you didn't know, Care Of offers vitamins, dietary supplements, protein powders, stuff like that. And their goal is to help find the right vitamins that are personalized for you. Their products are formulated with good for you, clean ingredients that are backed by science. And they're very transparent about the research and the sourcing behind every product. They have a super easy online quiz that gets to know you and your health and wellness goals. And from there, the appropriate vitamins and supplements are tailored to help you meet those goals. I took the quiz and I ended up getting plant protein powder and this is in vanilla. I've been exercising more. You guys know I have the bike. So this is great for muscle recovery. And then I also got collagen powder and this is in the flavor matcha. And then finally I got um, vitamins and I got vitamin C just to help support my immune system. Actually, these vitamin packages are compostable. Care of has an eco-friendly mindset and we love that. March is actually Women's History Month. And so what a great way to celebrate by prioritizing your health and making these health and wellness goals and then meeting them. Take care of yourself and take care of quiz and see what vitamins and supplements they recommend for you. Click on the link below and use my code Rachel Southard for 50% off for your first month at Care Of. Let's get back to today's video. What a day, what a day. I am going to spend the rest of my day doing Anki. <laughs> it's 8.15 right now. I gotta do some Anki. Oh, dang it. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Whew. And I'm gonna chat with you in the morning. Hi everyone, good morning, what's up? Welcome to today. It's currently Sunday the 28th and it's 11.45 in the morning. Uh, yes, I did cry <laughs> last night. It was emotional just because it's the first time that I have lived alone and so it's kind of just a big step in life. So I had moved everything in and I just settled down and it kind of hit me. I was like, oh my God, there's so much silence. Like I started playing study music, lo-fi study music to keep me company and comfort me. So I will tell you about why I moved and all that later, but my mom is coming over. We're gonna go to Costco so I can get food because I have like no food. I gotta study today and I have to edit a video today because it's due on Wednesday. When I get to work, I'm gonna make another coffee because I, we had our first casualty this morning because I actually spilled my coffee. Very nice. A couple days to recuperate, but next semester's come and there's no time to waste, but at least I saw. Yay, my mom's here. Okay, we're eating. What's up everyone? We're currently in mom's motherland, which is Costco. <laughs> no, I want those taquitos. I want the big frozen taquitos. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. She knows what I'm talking about. Yes. Yes. To spend time with my family, but now school's coming pretty hard. Bumped me up the cloud that I was floating on. Now it's back to another day, another day. Okay, so my mom's gone and I can't finish this project because the blade is dull on this. So I'm not able to cut the squares anymore. So that's unfortunate. Pretend that's not there. It looks nice right now, right? So I'm excited to finish this. Right now it's not complete, but that's like an upgrade in my opinion. Hey everyone, so it is currently 7.58 p.m. and I have been editing and doing Anki and I just made a quesadilla but I figured it would be maybe a good time for me to tell you why the heck I moved and all that good stuff. Why don't I sit down here? This entire vlog has been a moving vlog but I never really addressed why I moved and all of that. But basically, long story short, I just 
want my own space. As you know, I lived with three guys and I love them to death. They're amazing. I love living with them, but um, it was just time for me to have my own space, especially to study for boards. I didn't really want to be trapped in that really small room for 14 hours a day studying really hard during dedicated for boards. Um, I could just see myself kind of falling into a really unhealthy cycle of just staying in there and being really unhappy and feeling like a prisoner in my own room and really having a desk in a different room is really important to me because it is hard to study and sleep in the same room it worked out well with the hands-on curriculum being right now so i kind of had a little bit more time to make this move um and let me tell you it is not cheap it's really not it, it's actually it's expensive i know i'm gonna get a lot of questions asking how can i afford this how can you afford to do any of this how do you even pay for anything in medical school because i do get a lot of questions about that and um, honestly i'm not the best with finances um, i do know that i have a lot of government loans taken out right now and basically loan the government will give you whatever you need while you're in school because they know that you're going to have to pay it back probably tenfold at some point so when i first started medical school i did have a lot of savings and i had a lot of money saved up because i had been working a lot i had been working since i was 14 and so um, i had a lot saved up and i budgeted some to be able to buy certain things when starting medical school so i didn't have to dip into my loans so much and um, once YouTube started i do make a very small amount of money doing youtube but obviously it is not like substantial where I can just support everything and school and all of that with a YouTube income. I saved so much money living in the room that I was living in. Really, it was such a great deal. It was a steal. People would call me crazy for leaving, but I kind of weighed out the pros and cons of at what point do I, does my mental health start dwindling and at what point is, is finance and paying for that place how is that more important than my sanity and my board score that will basically determine i feel like the rest of my life and my career so i was just like i think it'll be okay if i move out besides i picked up a spot where um, a lot of my rotations are not close but they're closer than where i was living before and i'm really happy and um yeah i'm excited for this new chapter in my life it's very exciting and that's enough of me rambling. <laughs> I've got all of you, and even though I've got my ups and downs, and even though sometimes I cry, you should know, you should know more than me. See, I, even though I've got my ups and downs, and yes, sometimes I act like a nut, you should know, you should know. I've always got my hurt. Always another day, another test, another night without a rest. Well, I'm gonna give it my best, and hopefully, we'll make it out of one piece, maybe two. And if we don't, that's okay, cause I've got all of you, and that's all I need.